Uncle Warriors to unite! Welcome back, my friends. Another great episode coming from Bigger Wars 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. I got to do one today and taking a break for a few minutes from doing uh, yard work and other things out there. And I wanted to finish up. I didn't get a chance to finish up some of the points because it was going to be too long. But there's two other things I want to talk about when it comes to eye contact and why that's important. So we'll talk about that in a second. Let's go through some uh, shout outs here real fast. Uh, Dirty Mink, thank you, my friend. Oh, I think I said Dirty Mink, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Flawman, uh, day 55, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Um, DJ3DD, frustrated. Don't be frustrated, my friend. It is a common thing. We all experience it. But keep on the plan. Even if you release, even if that goes bad, go back. You know what the pattern is, Warrior. You know what the way life should be. You know the way we should be acting. We know what the good and bad is of all this stuff. We're all human. We're all going to make mistakes. God understands that. But you're on the right path. So just don't give up. Keep going forward. Try again. Aman Shahir, Shahir Shaki. Thank you. I don't know if I said that right. I hope I did. James, uh, say I'm 62, but I need an ID. <laughs> One day I'll show you my ID. But yes, coming up to my birthday pretty soon, another week or so. So I appreciate that. Uh, I feel tremendous, unbelievable power. Unbelievable. So I know the Keller stuff works because it's been doing this since 1998. And on top of that, the sixth uh, one with right, the sixth right also works because I just feel tremendous. I feel more power uh, to me. I can't control it. I know some of you guys have mentioned this, and, and you guys are in your 20s and 30s. So to me, I understand that. It's got to be unbelievable power. But you got to learn how to control it and transmute it. And we'll talk about that. Louis S., thank you, my friend. Willem, Willem made a good comment about uh, establishing eye contact. We'll talk about that in a second. KP Specimen, one year. Congratulations, my friend. Warrior, keep going. Guido Perez, Hall Set 7 Reborn, uh, Geo Do 92, Harold uh, Mirweather, uh, Sar. I, I did put some subtitles. I hope you're getting those. Superfish, Moon Safari, and Sisman Palzik, 21 days uh, taken off from YouTube. A good idea. Take off some time and uh, get away from the media and the social media, and it helps you a lot as well. All right, my friends. So. At two minutes and uh, 30, uh, 45 seconds, almost three minutes, let's talk about this topic, eye contact. So we talked about the fact yesterday that your energy as a warrior, anything, has to come and communicate to other people. Why is it women stare at you? Why is it women can't resist you? Why is it women will be submissive to you and do anything you want? Because you have those masculine qualities that 99% of the guys don't have. Now, first qu first issue is, it doesn't matter what the age is. It does not matter. And I guess you guys have been saying this as you guys are talking about this. It doesn't matter if you're 20 years old, 30, 40, 50, 62 like me. It doesn't matter. Yes, looks play a part overall. In some small sense, but there's lots of guys out there, lots of warriors who make it do well with women, who have women attracted to them all the time, and they don't look that great. We all have flaws. We have those. The looks go as time goes on as well. But the key is the eye contact. And the reason we say that is because your emotions, all your energy is funneled through a certain area, is your eyes, because that directs your purposes. That's what you're doing. Those are the things that you've got to look at and say, okay, people can tell by looking at your eyes. Now, many people can't look at people's eyes. They can't keep contact. They cannot have that eye contact because they've been told in society we shouldn't be doing this. Now, obviously, you don't want to stare, except in a situation where the woman is staring at you, which happens to me a great deal. I know it happens to you guys as well. Never be the one to lose, to go away from the stair first. Let the woman do that. Because the woman will then know you're dominant. It's a dominant a type of thing, dominance. Superiority when it comes to the sexual tension. Now, not everything else, but obviously the sexual tension part is important. 
because you want to be that masculine male and she wants to be that masculine male. She wants to be feminine. She wants to be submissive. She wants to take care of you. She wants to do those things for you. But in this modern society, people have got it backwards. And men have abused it in the past. There's no doubt about that. And women have abused it. But the bottom line is that the eye contact is where it starts. Learn how to have eye contact. I don't care what age you're at. I get smiles and attractions from 70-year-old women, 80-year-old women, because they know what you're doing. They know you're dominant, and it's very rare. This is why when they sense you, they can sense you from a mile away, and then on top of it, they're reinforced by the fact that you're looking right in their eyes, and you're telling them, without even saying a word, you're telling them, I'm the man. You're the woman. And I'm, I have that masculine, and you need to be submissive. Now, some women, obviously, are not going to react to that, and that's fine. But a lot of women will react to that. And I've seen that because they'll give smiles, they'll start coming near you, they'll be attracted to you. When we talk about the energy, we're talking about the energy that comes from your whole being, the aura. But when they see that, and you see them looking at you, and they can't get away from that, if you want to establish eye contact, now why would you want to do this? Remember, we talked about this fact. You don't want to get yourself down the rabbit hole and release, right? You're not doing this basically to just get into her pants and use her as an object. This is not the purpose here. The purpose is to establish your confidence level, to establish the fact that you can interact with women. Now, why is this important? Let's forget about the sexual part of this. Let's forget, let's forget about the, you know, you wanting to go to bed with the woman. That could happen. If you find someone you want, that's great. But you're trying to establish connections because, let's face it, if women like you as a person and they're attracted to you, your life becomes a lot easier. Because women make a lot of decisions, especially in the corporate world and the home life, things like this, to make your life better. And if you give them that level of attraction that you're a fe they're, she's a female, she's got feminine energy and you have the masculine energy, she's looking for you to be in control. She's looking for you to take control of the situation. And if you take control of the situation, all of a sudden, she feels comfortable now. She doesn't make the decisions. She doesn't make a decision at all. Now, obviously you can go too far with this, but the bottom line is you're still the one in charge. You're the one that's in charge of what's happening. And you're the one that's going to make those decisions. And she's going to follow you. That's a not normal course of life. The way that it should be, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to this, then you're really talking about the dominance comes through the eyes. It doesn't matter what age it is, like I said. It is the dominance. Now, because this is so important, a lot of men, we never get taught this. We never get caught a lot of this stuff in school. We never get taught about how to deal with women. Unless you had sisters, it's very difficult to do that. Women are starting early as girls talking about this stuff. So they understand how, how men work. And you have to kind of watch out because uh, a woman is very, because of they're not as strong, they have to use other ways to also make sure they're making an impact and doing things, getting things done. So that they look at the eyes they look at your eyes to see what type of male you are. Now, confidence comes from the eyes. So Willem had a great question here, and I want to kind of end it with this discussion here. Because we know that the energy is formed within you. You have the seed, you have the nutrients. That comes out in your aura. That retention comes in your aura. That comes through your eyes. When people look at you, they'll see that power in you. They know it. They can look at your physical body, too. And obviously, if you're in shape and you're doing those things, you're going to look even better. But they will get the initial reaction far away from seeing you and then getting close to you. Now you establish the eye contact. Now, Willem had a good question because most of us are taught not to do this. We're afraid of stalking, all these types of accusations and things. We're afraid of doing this kind of stuff. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do anything, my friends. It's a good thing to practice eye contact. Now, if you're struggling with eye contact and you're just trying to kind of do something to get some confidence, then focus on 
uh, people around you, people you know, relatives, family members. The important thing, as Willem talks about, especially in the summertime, when women are, are showing off all their figures and all that kind of stuff, and how good they look in bikinis and all other kind of stuff, it is hard to look at a woman's body. Uh, not to look at a woman's body. Very attractive, no doubt about it. But that's not the major reason you're talking to this person. You have to, you have to get into her mind first. The body comes later. This is what a mistake a lot of warriors make when they're trying to hook up with a girl and want to be with a girl. Now remember, I'm saying this, but I'm almost taking a step back and saying, you don't want to be releasing. You don't want to be doing this. But so many people are asking me about this because they want to find that one person. The things I'm kind of telling you, focus on the fact what you're trying to do is focus on the woman as a woman, not as an object. And you're doing that by the mind. So, in, in response to Willem's question, the great question, what you got to do is when you look at people, look at their face. Now, it's going to be hard at first. It takes practice. You can look in their eyes for a few seconds, look away, keep practicing. If you have to look at children in the eyes, look at other animals in the eyes, some animals, not all animals, dogs, for instance, you shouldn't do a lot of that with dogs because they'll get upset. But try to learn how to establish eye contact little by little. Take steps at a time. And you'll find it gets easier as time goes on. But when you're talking to a woman, focus on her head, her eyes, her mouth. Actually, not even her mouth, just above the nose. And look and focus on those eyes. If you can tell what color her eyes are, that means you've looked at her eyes. Don't look at everything else. In fact, she will be shocked because you're looking right and it will create instant sexual tension. Now, I say all this again, my friends, only because a lot of people ask me about this and they want to they find this person and they're interested in this type of thing. But I'm going to take a step back again and say that this is not the reason why you retain. This is not the reason you should be focusing on this. You should be focusing on your goals. You should be focusing on trying to get, do the best you can in God's purpose. But if you do, you by subconsciously doing that, you're going to attract women because your confidence level will be so great that you cannot avoid looking women straight in the eye. Because your, your, your retention is so great. You feel so confident, so powerful. I'm not afraid of anybody. You can look at men, women in the eyes, anyone, because you're strong. You become strong. You're not a weak male. This is a difference. This is when women can tell who the simps are, the weak males. And they can control them. Build their own egos. All they want. But the key is, what you're trying to do is establish your dominance saying, I am a strong male here. I am the person who knows what they're doing. And if you want to follow it, great. If you don't, that's your choice. And people always have choices. But then you move on, you keep going. But again, guys... Part of part of this whole discussion is, as we talk about this, that's the whole side of releasing you don't want to get to. But if you want to establish friendships, if you want to establish relationships with women, one day you want to uh, get married to a woman or you want to be with a, a certain woman and you want a long-term relationship with that woman, these are techniques that we're talking about the eyes that are infallible. There's no doubt about it. If you combine... The retention image aura that women see you at. And they, they see the aura. And then you combine that with a, a sour look of dominance in your eye contact. I mean, no matter what your age is, you're going to have women flocking all over you. Now, again, what do you do with that? That's the question. Once again, I always say it's a matter of flattery to me in most cases. I like establishing eye contact because it's... It's actually uh, a nice thing, and sometimes it's kind of exciting to look at different people and eye contact. I have no trouble with that. But that's, that's teaching communications for 30-some years. I'm 62 years old. I've had lots of practice with this. So that's not saying too much, but what you should be doing is practicing this. And as time goes on, you're going to get better and better, 
and you're going to be able then to show the dominance and self-confidence in yourself, and that attracts people. Now, I do it more on a case of making connections, trying to build businesses, trying to build ideas, and try to make things better for people, encourage people, be nice to people, work with people, make life better for them. This is my stage in life right now. I'm more of a, a tutor, a helper, a facilitator, and a role model for people, those type of things. That's what I'm doing at my age. You have a lot of different goals at your age, but you will always be successful if you can establish proper eye contact, obviously not staring at people for a long period of time, but your contact is are you comfortable with yourself enough to be able to establish eye contact. And the women who see you anyway as a beautiful thing because of your aura of retention, they're going to be unbelievable in the idea that they cannot stop you, they cannot prevent you from being a strong male. And that's the, the, that's the important thing here. So eye contact is crucial. When it comes to eye contact, you want to make sure you understand this concept and use it. As you get longer in your journey, you'll become more confident. Practice the eye contact. At times, look at people. Try to avoid looking at a person, any person, below their mouth. Look above them to be able to focus on that. All right, my friends. Well, this is good. I wanted to make sure I got these points in there so that we knew some of the other ones. Willem had a good question. It was another question we talked about before. So hopefully we uh, kind of get to it. So a two-parter, but I want to make sure I cover everything. All right, friends. So enough for today. I hope you guys have a great day. And always remember two things. One, every day is a new day to a great warrior. And number two, my friends, continue to battle